Hi, I'm Lena Mitchell with Sportsman's Warehouse, and today I'm going to cover guns in the house with kids and also introducing kids to shooting and firearms. Now, I have a different perspective probably than most because I was literally born and raised on a shooting range next to a custom gun shop, traveling to firearm shooting competitions my entire life. So, guns on guns on guns on guns ever since I was born. And that, uh, I learned a lot along the way, needless to say, and this is my perspective on it. Kids, the most dangerous thing about kids in general is the curiosity. I always say that if you took an empty brown paper bag and put it on top of your fridge and you told them not to touch it, it's, they're not allowed, everything in them would be like, oh my gosh, what's in that bag? I've got to get it. As soon as you make something mysterious and kind of like aloof, kids are drawn to it. So I think that fulfilling that curiosity with safety, education of firearms, and actual time behind the firearms once they're ready is the best way uh, to kind of keep firearms in your home and keep everyone safe. So never too young to start educating them on firearm safety. Um, and then once they are of age, which is totally dependent upon your kid, there is no age that I think every kid is ready to go out to the range and shoot. It's your call on how well they learn, their actual size, and their attention and their respect for the platform and for firearms in general. What is the same for all these platforms, and no matter big, small, or who you are at the range, you always need to have good safety glasses and then hearing protection. One thing to know about hearing protection is this. Our body's natural reaction to loud noises is to jump and to be uncomfortable. So if you're bringing someone that's new to the environment, gunshots are very loud. So make sure that you put both plugs and muffs on that person. Uh, I shoot with plugs and muffs always because one, it helps me be a little bit more calm on the line. It really protects my hearing and uh, it makes my overall shooting experience much more comfortable. So plugs and muffs always, good set of safety glasses, and you're ready to rumble. Now, when you do take them out to the range for the very first time, our goal is to make it fun. Yes, we're gonna hammer in uh, safety and respect for the platform and all that, but also we want them to grow a passion for firearms just like we have. So making it fun is the easiest way to do that. So I always suggest introducing kids on a 22 pistol or rifle. Realize that 22 rifles and rifles in general are always easier to shoot than pistols. The only thing I would change about uh, this 22 rifle setup is that I would also have an optic mounted on here because remember our goal is to make it as easy to shoot as possible so that they have the best possibility of having a great time. We don't want to give them some difficult to shoot gun and watch them struggle. We want to set them up for success. So a small caliber, uh, something that's not too loud, the least amount of recoil, an optic, great ways of making the overall experience and time to the range better. This is actually the firearm that I introduce a lot of people, uh, big and small, on. This is a Sig Sauer MPX. So it might look like a big old scary gun, but it only shoots a nine millimeter pistol round. So it shoots a little bullet that's really quiet, almost no recoil. On this gun, I also have an adjustable stock, which really helps out uh, when switching it from person to person. I can actually fit it to them. And it has a nice light trigger. So success is almost guaranteed with this firearm, which is what we want. Uh, another thing is when you get out to the range and in making it fun, what you're shooting can have a big effect on that not that fun to just poke holes in paper at like 50 yards real slow. Uh, <laughs> I don't even find that fun and I love shooting. So things that I do and suggest are shooting steel targets, shooting bottles and cans and reactive rubber targets. That is always a great way to keep uh, it interactive and interesting and children intrigued in what's going on. What I personally do is I have three little nieces and every time one of them is old enough to learn to shoot, 
I go and buy a big canvas and little paint bottles. Their favorite colors, they get to pick them out. And then I hang them in front of the canvas and they shoot the bottles. And when they shoot the bottles, the paint splatters onto the canvas and they create art with a gun. And it has the little bullet holes in it and paint on it and then they get to take it home. And we have a memory that we've created together and it's an all around wonderful experience that we can share. So get creative, know what your kid likes and kind of fit it to them. Remember fun and safety, that's what we're there for. And so that we can share our passion of firearms and shooting for generations to come.